Back to our example, 1 over 2 plus radical 3. We see that radical 3 in the denominator as our problem. We need to rationalize the denominator, but since this denominator has two terms, we need to use the conjugate. We will multiply numerator and denominator by the conjugate 2 minus radical 3. Now in the numerator, we have one term by two terms, so that would need to be a distribute, but we're multiplying by one, so it stays 2 minus radical 3. In the denominator, we have two terms times two terms. 2 by 2 must be FOIL. So I'm extra cautious when I do FOIL with radicals. I'll write out the multiplication that I'm doing at each, each step. So first is 2 times 2 is 4. Outer and inner, if I'm very certain that I've found the conjugates, I actually don't even need to do the, the outer and inner because I know they'll cancel. For now, let's do it just so we can be certain that they cancel. Outer, 2 times negative radical 3. I'm not seeing a 6 because I've got an outsider with an insider. I see a negative 2 on the outside with that radical 3 inside. And I, the inner step, is radical 3 times 2, both positive. Positive radical 3 times positive 2. Positive 2 radical 3. So we do see outer and inner results will cancel each other. And how about last? Careful about the signs. This is where most people will go off path. Positive radical 3. Negative radical 3. So our radical 3 with radical 3 paired up to equal a 3, but we have one negative. So that's really a negative 3. Be very cautious with the signs. Right after FOIL, we look for, do we have like terms to combine? Definitely we want to see that the outer and inner terms cancel. But also, we can combine first and last. 4 with negative 3, nice positive 1. So that's our denominator, positive 1. And usually when we end up with that denominator of, of 1, we just let it go. So our answer is 2 minus radical 3. It's simplified. Uh, we don't even have a fraction anymore, so we don't have to worry about a radical in the denominator. That's definitely not there. No fraction to try to simplify. I just have to make sure that my radical is simplified, that radical 3, and it is, so I'm finished. I want to just mention one way that we could check our answer, and it is with using a calculator. So if I look at what I started with, 1 over 2 plus radical 3, I'll punch that into the calculator to find out the decimal approximation for that. 1 over 2 plus radical 3 approximately equals 0.2679. And those decimals continue. Then I go to the answer and I'll do decimal approximation of my answer. 2 minus radical 3. They need to be equal. If they are equal, that's a good sign. If they're not equal, I promise you that you've gone off path somewhere. So I absolutely would never want you to take this and just turn it into a decimal and say, hey, there you go, no problem. That's really not what we're trying to do with rationalize the denominator. We definitely want to go through these steps and changing them into decimals I would only use to compare my final answer to the problem that I began with. And if they match, then I feel comfortable about my simplified answer right here being correct. Let's do one more example of rationalizing the denominator. I know that that's what I would need to do. Most of the time we will see a problem with the instructions rationalize this denominator. But, to be honest, we should know that that's what we need to do without even being told. I see this fraction. I see that there is a radical in the denominator. Um, I can't do any simplifying because I've got two terms here. So I the 4x with the 2x is off limits. That radical 2x is off limits because it is being added with another term. As I'm thinking about rationalizing this denominator, and I see that it is two terms, that means that I need to use the conjugate. 
Now, if you're still wondering about simplifying that, simplify it right now. You know that 4 is 2 times 2 times x, so this is really a 2 out of the radical with x inside of the radical. Now, back to this idea about rationalizing the denominator. It's two terms, so we need to use the conjugate. To find the conjugate, we just change the sign in the middle. So conjugate radical 2x minus 3, top and bottom. We've got some multiplication to do next. In the numerator, we have one term multiplied by two terms. The 2 radical x is our one term, so that needs to be distributed here. In the numerator, this 2 radical x times radical 2x, I'm not going to try to do too much at once. So with multiplication, all I need to think about is outsiders with outsiders, insiders with insiders. The 2 that's on the outside is right there. No other outsiders to multiply with that 2. And insiders, we have x times 2x. For now, we'll just call it 2x squared. Definitely that x squared has caught my eye that there's some simplifying I can do, but I, I'm not going to do it just yet. I'm going to slow myself down. There are too many opportunities to make a mistake, so I'll save that for the next step. Distribute here 2 radical x times negative 3. So our outsiders are the 2 with negative 3 is negative 6. That radical x is the only insider. Okay, denominator is going to be FOIL, but I know that they are conjugates. So I'm going to skip outer and inner this time. I'm only going to multiply first and last. Because they are conjugates, they're both radical 2x with a 3. One has a plus, one has a minus. That makes them conjugates. That makes me able to say outer and inner are going to cancel. So first, radical 2x times another radical 2x equals 2x. Last, we have, watch those signs, positive 3 times negative 3, negative 9. There's our denominator, 2x minus 9. Before I say this problem is finished, I want to make sure that the fraction is simplified, that all my radicals are simplified. So that 2x squared, there's some simplifying I can do with that radical. 2x squared, so there are a pair of x's there. I'm able to bring 1x out of the radical and multiply it to that 2. So the numerator now looks like 2x, okay, that 2 times the 1x that we brought out. We have, what do we have left over in the radical? Just 1, 2. Okay, that was me simplifying just this part right here. 2x squared, 2 with x and another x. There's that pair of x's, so I bring them right out of the radical. The only one left inside is the 2. I can't simplify that radical any further. So I have minus 6 radical x. Denominator 2x minus 9. And that's it. I cannot simplify the radicals any further. There is no simplifying to be done with this fraction. I have two terms. Two terms in the numerator, two terms in the denominator. So I definitely could not cancel two with that two. When I have more than one term, I start to think about can I factor and cancel. So I won't be able to factor any GCF out of the denominator. That's letting me know that I won't be able to do any canceling.